Hey, what's up YouTube? Today is going to be the start of my experiment. I'm going to track one stock and one stock only for the next 52 weeks and see how does that play off. The company that I'm going to keep track of is my favorite company, AMD. I'm going to keep track of their charts, the um, 180 day charts, their day charts, their weekly charts. I'm also going to follow all of the AMD news, um, what are they planning to do in the future? I'm going to follow the earnings report. I'm going to follow every single thing there is about AMD and see if there's any benefit of following one company completely in and out to see when you should buy the stock, when you should sell the stock. And if you're following for so long, do you know when the company is at fair value? In this experiment, I'm going to find out. So I'm going to find out exactly how does tracking one company for the next 52 weeks will pay off. But enough talking, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back Dream Team. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button to make sure that you're a part of the Dream Team. And also that you don't miss out on any of these updates that I'm gonna bring to you every single week on how am I doing on AMD. Right now I have Robinhood pulled up if we take a look at my Robinhood, AMD right now is at $49.81. They were down 3.52% on the day. If we look at the week, they're down 8.91%. And also at the month, they're down 4.34%. So AMD over the last month has been struggling a little bit, pulling back. But over the last three months, they're up 5.4%, up $2.57. If we scroll down, I have 47 shares worth of AMD with the market value of $2,341.07 with my average cost being $30.01 and AMD is about 13.5% of my full portfolio. I am up $930.67 on AMD, 65%, almost 66%. So over the last year alone, AMD is up 56.68%, up $18.02. So that is how well AMD is doing in my portfolio. This is a company that I use. This is a company that I trust. So based off the fact that this is a company that I use and trust, I decided to pick this company to track for the next 52 weeks to see what news is good for them, what news is bad for them, when should I buy it, when is it overvalued, when is it undervalued. I'm going to do a couple of swing trades, a couple of option calls, and we'll see what I can do with AMD over the next 52 weeks. This week I only have around $120 in cash buying power on my Robinhood. I plan on investing $500 into this experiment but I don't get paid until next week. So right now we're gonna have to deal with $120. Um, when the market open, I could buy probably two shares worth of AMD until I'm able to deposit a little bit more money into my account. So week one on AMD, um, not much news that came out, but what we are gonna do for week one is look at the 180 day charts. So let's pull up Thinkorswim right quick and take a look at AMD charts of the last 180 days. All right, guys, here we go on Think or Swim. The ticker symbol for AMD is, of course, A, M, and D. Hit enter, and I already have it up. So the options that I'm going to be paying to during this experiment is the one day, one minute chart. Every bar on here is one minute, and it shows the price movement of AMD during that one minute for that one day. We have the five day, five minute chart. That means this is the last five days of AMD. If you zoom in, Every bar on here is the price movement of AMD over the last five minutes. So it goes on and on the 10 day, 30 minute chart, the one hour, 20 day chart, and then the one that we're gonna be paying attention to this um, session week one is the four hour, 180 day charts. So this is AMD price movement of the last 180 days and each bar represents four hours so back in 11 with uh, 11 1 amd had a consistent growth all the way up to the top staying in this channel right there all right but we're not paying attention to the past right now let's look a look let's look a little bit into the future remove drawing okay 
So AMD, if let's zoom in, AMD fell over the last couple of days, almost 8.59%. And it's under the 180 day simple moving average, which is the green line. That means if it's above the green line, it has a uptrend. If it's below the green line like this, it has a downtrend. So this is an uptrend, downtrend, uptrend. So I usually buy AMD long on the uptrend. That means it's a, a, above the green. That means it's above the green 180 day simple moving average. I'll do a call buy uh, on options when it's above the green. But if we take a look and draw the lines, the high over the last 180 days is $59.27. And it's also a resistance. So if we draw a line right there, it came, it came up to $59, got rejected. Tried it again, $59, got rejected. And one more time, $59, got rejected. So AMD is having a resistance at $59, having a very hard time breaking through. But if we look at the support if we draw a line right here all the way through okay so amd has used this line right here as a resistance at first and then it started to use this line as a support it came down bounce support went up came down bounce as a support again on this line and came down to bounce right here well right now it's currently at this line at $49.79, $49.80. So it's having a hard time going below the $49.80 mark and it's having a hard time break above the $59.27 mark. So if Andy ever gets back up to around 60 bucks, it might be a good time to sell. And if it ever comes back down around 49, 48 bucks, it might be a good time to buy. Although, it is below the 180 day simple moving average. This trend line right here shows that AMD is also oversold if we look at the RSI. Remember, if the RSI is above 70, it's a little bit overbought, and then it's gonna pull back a little bit. If it's below 30, that means it's oversold, it's undervalued, and it should probably go up the next couple of days. So right now, it was very overbought, and then it pulled back. Right now, it's super oversold, and it's also at a resistant line of $49.80. So when the market opens tomorrow, depending on uh, doing the, doing the pre-market hours, I might buy two shares worth of AMD because it's at the resistance, and it's also oversold. The MACD has not crossed yet, if you guys want to learn more about what all of this means, make sure that you subscribe to this channel because I'm going to talk about all of this in detail during these next 52 weeks when I track AMD. Uh, week one, remember, we're only talking about the charts. We're not talking about the uh, news or anything like that. So we're talking about the charts and, and based off of these charts, it is at the last resistance point. It is at $49.80 and it's also oversold. So that is the charts for week one of AMD tracking. All right, guys, and we're back. So that was the charts for AMD this week, week one of the experiment. Uh, unfortunately, I only have around $120 to play with right now. I'm going to invest $500 when I get paid next week into this experiment. And we're going to try to grow it as quick. Well, not as quickly, as smart as possible over the next 52 weeks. Make sure that you stay along for the journey. The two um, platforms that I used in this video, the first one was Robinhood. That is what I used to buy AMD. If you guys want a chance to rent a free stock of AMD, uh, click the link down in the description for Robinhood. If you sign up, you'll get a free stock and I'll get a free stock and you can win something valued even higher than AMD. You can win a stock like Apple. That's around what, $300? Let's see, what is Apple around? Yeah, that's valued around 350 ish dollars for Apple. So if you guys want an opportunity to win a free stock, make sure you click that link down in the bio. The second platform that I used in this video was TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim. All you have to do is go to tdameritrade.com, sign up with an account for them, it's completely free, and then download Thinkorswim. And if you guys want to learn how to set up your charts, this is how I set up my charts, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on how I set up my charts so you guys could partake in this adventure as well. 
But other than that, I did hit 5,000 subscribers this week. So if you want to be a part of the 5,000 subscriber giveaway that I should be doing um, very, very soon, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on an opportunity to win something that can help you out in your investing journey. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.